So for people who schedule school events and figure out school calendars and whatnot, I would like it very much if you would have an FAQ for me and answer my frequently asked cues. And the one that's weighing heavy on my mind right now, that's frequently running through it, is why all events are scheduled in the last few weeks of school. I mean, we have state testing, we have like three or four different field trips, we've got ice cream socials, we've got, I mean, it's nuts. We've got fun runs. It's crazy the amount of things that I have to keep up with the last few weeks of school when really all the soap and clay kidlets are doing and probably arguably all other children are doing is checking out. They're getting ready for summertime. So I not only have to keep them on trap with school stuff, like go get your standardized tests done, but also all of these other things. So that's my frequently asked cue for you guys. I'm talking about it because, you know, actually it is an FAQ day for soap, but I can't answer the question that I just posited to you. I will tell you more about what FAQs we're doing today in just a minute. But before I do, hello, I am Mrs. Soap and Clay. Let's make stuff. How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You are at Soap and Clay, where we make all the soapy things, and you are here for day 289 of 365 days of soap, and today, as I said, we're doing an FAQ. And by me telling you more about it, I'm not actually sure why I said that, because I'm not actually sure what frequently asked cues I'm going to address today. I think probably we're going to be talking about um, additions in lye solutions like sodium citrates, when you can use it, what it's for, all of the jazz, and the like. Because that seems to be, I guess every summer, weirdly, I do get a lot of questions about essentially upping the cool, weird things in soap. And so... I guess that's probably what we're going to talk about, but you know, let's go to the video where I'm stamping some beautiful soaps and I'll figure it out, you know, once I get to my computer. Okay, I said sodium citrate and I meant sodium lactate and that's one of the reasons why we are doing this. We've already done a video on sodium citrate, a couple of them actually, but for funsies, because I wanted to talk about sodium lactate, let's talk about the differences between sodium citrate and sodium lactate. First up, what is sodium citrate? Sodium citrate is the combination of soda, uh, well, soda ash or washing soda, so sodium carbonate, and citric acid. It can also be formed in a weaker solution using sodium bicarb, so baking soda, and citric acid. Still technically sodium citrate, although a weaker version of that. Now, sodium citrate in soap is used to prevent soap scum, really. It's a chelator. You, if you are using proper sodium citrate in your recipes, in your soap recipes, you do not need to worry about lye consumption. However, if you are just putting citric acid into your lye solution, you do have to worry about lye consumption because the way that you effectively create sodium citrate is... Well, your salt. So in this case, it comes from sodium hydroxide plus citric acid. So citric acid on its own will eat a portion of the lye solution to create sodium citrate within your soap. If you are putting sodium citrate as already created into your soap, it does not eat any of the lye. 
and you don't have to worry about recalculating your, your life formulations. Again, a key later, good for soap scum. Now, as I said, sodium citrate, uh, again, washing soda, sodium carbonate is used in that, or a weak, weaker version, sodium bicarb plus citric acid can also create. So that's kind of what you get at the end of your, you know, bath bombs. Also, soda ash on top of it is also technically considered sodium citrate. Again, key later, good for soap scum. But that's not what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about sodium lactate. And again, very confusing, right? Because we have two things that sound kind of similar, both salts of some sort, but formed differently and therefore used differently. And so where uh, sodium citrate comes from an acid, from a citric acid uh, specifically, uh, sodium lactate comes from a lactic acid, also an acid but its uses in soap are a little bit different. So uh, getting putting in sodium citrate versus sodium lactate, you're gonna get two different end results, really. So now let's move on and talk about what I wanted to talk about in all of this, which is sodium lactate. Okay, now what is sodium lactate? Well, sodium lactate is basically the combination of sodium hydroxide plus a lactic acid. So, uh, and what this does is it is an excellent humectant, it is a great moisturizer, and it adds bar hardness. Now, when you are putting it into your lye solution, you should be doing it at two to three percent of the total oil weight in the batch to produce very nice bar hardening properties, as well as, like I said, natural humectant and moisturizing properties. Cool, cool, cool. Also, if you are using things like a goat's milk or a cow's milk or something containing a lactic acid, a milk in your water solution in place of your distilled water, you are also creating sodium lactate in your soaps. So, too much of a good thing is such a thing when it comes to sodium lactate. So, if you are making a milk soap, I would say definitely do not add sodium lactate to the batch as well. Because weirdly, if you add too much of it, like over 5% of the total oil weight, you are looking at bars that actually become rubbery and like weirdly soft. And we don't want that. So as far as whether or not you actually have to change your lye solutions with sodium lactate, whether you use it as sodium lactate or just as a milk in your in place of water? The answer to both is no. It does not consume any lye. The, the, I mean, the sodium, the, the milks also do not consume any lye. But, you know, when you're dealing with milk soaps anyway, you're already factoring in probably, hopefully, that this is going to be a more heavier, super fatted recipe anyway, because what else comes in, you know, milks? Fats fatty acid profiles. So realistically though, you don't really need to treat it any differently. Whereas with sodium citrate versus citric acid, you do, you should think about treating it differently. Although technically speaking, you know, if this citric acid consumes some of the lye, what does that mean? Well, that means that you have a slightly more super fatted batch of soap, which we've talked about before in regards to the sodium citrate. So again, sodium lactate, good for, um, good, good for moisturizing humectant properties, good for bar hardening, use it two, two to three percent. Sodium citrate, good for uh, chelating properties, uh, reducing soap scum, helping with the bubble, for sure. Use between one and three percent of total oil weight. Uh, if you are using citric acid, pay attention to that because it will consume a portion of your, you know, lye solution to create sodium citrate within your batch. But sodium lactate, that's not really something that you need to, you know, factor in as much of a consideration. Again, assuming that you already know that your soap's going to be super fatted because milk. 
So there it is, a quick and dirty, literally quick uh, FAQ on sodium citrate versus sodium lactate, how to put it into your lye solution, what you should look for, and what it all means. And for the first time in a long time, you might actually need to slow this entire video down so you get all of the information. And there they are, some frequently asked questions and some answers. And so it's, you know, fun. And we always come up with the most random questions about life, really. I mean, I started the video out with a weird question. And, you know, it's nice to have a place where you can get those questions answered. And so if some of your questions were included in that, I hope you got some fun answers and some help. And that's awesome. If you're interested in more soapy questions, A, drop them below because I will be doing another FAQ very, very soon. So, you know, I can answer them there. That would be awesome. If you're interested in these soaps, yeah, these are all a drop in the oceans soaps. So you can get all of these at a drop in the ocean shop.com. Definitely her summer line and all of her like mainstays are available right now. And as well as all the other cool stuff she has. So go check her out. Absolutely. If you're interested in more stuff, all the jazz subscribe things, you get it. For those of you who are subscribed, hey Sudzers, you get it and you get me, and that's why we're here doing the whole thing, and I love you for it. I'm out of here for today, but I will see all of you guys again tomorrow for another round of Soapy Fun. Bye.